Wednesday. I think it's the 31st of July. We still got to run our last day of July, I do believe. Let me double check. Yes, yes. And it's about 7.30 here, Chicago time. Donald Trump's coming to town to give a speech. He's raised an uproar. The National Black Journalist Society. Guess invited him, and he showed up. Pissed off the mayor of Chicago. Pissed off some of the media. Um, that uh, they didn't in, they didn't invite or they invite that they invited him. I guess um, guess Kamala didn't want to come or she wasn't invited. Who knows? Making her look a little bit bad, right? Who's the black person in the house? Um, that's the least of our problems, though. I hope you're prepared. I hope you're prepared. Have you watched what's been going on in the news? The world is in chaos. Um, Joe Biden and Kamala are going to get us killed. Um, kudos to Israel. They're doing what they got to do. Um, but it may start a world war in the meantime. Um, there was uh, Israel, supposedly Israel. I don't think it's been confirmed. It's been confirmed that two, two high-ranking leaders... Um, one of uh, Hazm Hamas um, was taken out in Beirut, uh, Beirut and uh, another one, I think he's one of the Iran guys. I think he's uh, one of the I Iran leaders who's uh, hunk been hunkered down in uh, Qatar. Yeah, you remember Qatar who took all those Afghan refugees for us? They've been also hiding some high-level... Iranian militants, and I think even Hamas, they've been hiding a lot of the high-valued targets for the last couple of years. Um, but there was one they were, I guess there was an um, um, inauguration of uh, the president or prime minister of Iran, whatever they have over there, the new one. Ring the bell on that, huh? Um, so this guy was in Iran and Tehran, which is like in the middle of the country. Um, <clears throat> and he was assassinated by someone. No one's, uh, no one's, no one's come forward yet, but they suspect maybe it was an Israel thing. Um, sounds like it was an airstrike. So crazy that, I mean, they're, they're sending a message to Iran. Israel is sending a hell. If it was, a, if it was Israel, they're sending a hell of a message to Iran that they can get somebody that far in the country um, without having any difficulties, it appears. So um, next steps by Iran to come shortly, probably. Um, it's, it's just crazy out there. And then if you watch the Secret Service uh, Thing yesterday, who do we got here? We're, we've been we've been talking about the chaos in Iran and uh, with the assassinations. Uh, we talked about Donald Trump coming to Chicago for the National Black Journalist Convention and how Chicago's Chicago's blowing a lid. They can't believe that he's coming. Um, he's gonna he's gonna send this this. Uh, this town into chaos today, even before the DNC starts off. So let's talk about the Secret Service um, hearing yesterday. The new Secret Service um, guy, I think his name is Richard Rowe, um, uh, testified. He testified, I think it was his first time, first or second time. Um, he, gave, he gave answers. He gave answers. Still, though, it's it's a cover up, folks. Let's let's face it. Um, Secret Service failed immensely. There's a lot of um, oh, there's a lot of whistleblowers coming out now in the Secret Service, and he's trying to cover that up. I guess he he tried to delete some emails that were sent out from the Secret Service um, by one whistleblower. Um, conveniently, I mean, he tried to pass the buck to the local 
state and um, county police of having jurisdiction to cover that um, that AGR building. But you know what? Ultimately, it's the Secret Service that's responsible. Um, they didn't check. They didn't check if anyone was in place on that roof or had a presence over there. They they failed. They failed. Um, they asked yesterday who who has been fired, and this new guy said, "Well, they're working. They're working on doing going through the normal protocol and." investigative and making sure that what protocols were not followed so they have terms to fire someone. The fact that the president or former president got shot and another person was killed is not grounds enough to fire someone? Please. Uh, yeah, we got uh, Zenyatta Kawai. Uh, he says, I'm sorry, I'm European. I need more context. I just I just know Trump was shot. Yeah, he was shot and uh, we're trying to figure out we're trying to figure out uh, why no one's fired in the Secret Service for this failure and how we're gonna make sure that it doesn't happen again. Um, and at, to this point, no one's been fired in the Secret Service. One person has resigned, a, a total incompetent Kimberly Cheadle, or what we like to call her Kimberly Cheeto, um, has been, she resigned after after uh, Congress raked her over to Coles, and she she knew that there was a massive, massive shortcoming and failures by whoever was in charge of this. Um Yesterday, still, the, the Secret Service guy who is answering questions now, although he's trying to deflect um, to other people, other organizations that are being at fault, when ultimately we all know that the Secret Service runs the show. And um, if anything happens, you're to blame. You're to blame. That's the way it works. That's the way it works in the United States. If something Something uh, that you organize fails, uh, you're responsible, yet no one's been fired. No one has been fired by the Secret Service, and uh, this, guy won't, this guy won't even um, give the names of the people who were in charge of this event, the people who did the, um, you know, the pre-visit, pre-event organizing and planning, uh, who signed off on it. All these details, he won't he won't um, divulge any names, but I think he's he's um, he's being called to the carpet because uh, Congress this this committee wants Secret Service people that were working that day in front of them next week. So um, things are coming to a head pretty quickly there. But another convenient thing is all the communications on the Secret Service side are not, were not recorded, which I find interesting and I kind of question that. Um, all the Secret Service, I used to work, I used to work in the communications industry. So um, I'm a little familiar with, with, uh, with some of the stuff that goes on there. But anyway, they have encrypted communication, which to me says, oh, it's digital, right? It's digital, it's just for the Secret Service. And um, surprisingly, it wasn't recorded. Hmm. That makes it very convenient that no one knows what was said and when and whether or not the Secret Service was aware of what and when. Um, they're going to have to rely on other people to tell them. Um, we're 17 days in on this, and the Secret Service agent, the head of the Secret Service, he didn't even provide a timeline to Congress at this point. Which um, this this shouts cover up. This just shouts cover up, uh, making making me wonder whether or not um, this was.